Hello grass touchers. Welcome back to Touching Grass. Today you find me on a chilly Thursday morning. It's a bit chilly, it's fresh, it's not, it's not super cold. And today I'm going to be doing something called the Black Brook Beauty Trail. And that's a nine mile circular in the heart of Charmwood Forest. Taking us through, uh, taking us through a few local landmarks. So we'll be seeing uh, Swanee Moat Rocks, Mount St. Bernard's Abbey, Blackbrook Res Reservoir, possibly Grace Dew Ruins. I covered them a couple of videos ago, so I may, uh, it's actually out of the way of the route, but it's kind of on the way back, so I might stop in, we'll see. Anyway, come along, see what we can see, see what we can find. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, these are something I've spoken about before. These are King Alfred's Cakes. I'll uh, link the video that I'll talk a bit more about them in. But this is quite a young grouping, so this is a... Uh, it looks like some fairly old growth, to be honest, just judging by the moss on it. Um, but yeah, it's been freshly colonised by King Alfred's Cakes. They're all brown, so you don't want to harvest them. These are, I'm not going to say unusable, I'm not sure if they actually have any uses when they're this fresh. Uh, but they're certainly no good for fire lighting and bushcraft while they're like this. Right, and here we have one of the characteristic things about the woodland in Charmwood Forest. This is the first of many, many rocky outcrops. And we're along the western edge of Charmwood Forest as, uh, as it stands. And along the western edge, this is where we find the Precambrian rocks. So these could be, I'm not saying they are 650 million. But they, they are up to 650 million years old. I think these are about 620 million. Uh, very fascinating rocks. First of many, many formations. Now this goes right up to the top on this big, lovely, rocky outcrop. Um, I'm not going to go up there today, but I, I will be kind of cutting in um, footage of the other rock formations because they are... When you're standing, well, in, in camera, sorry, it doesn't look that fantastic. When you're standing here and you're looking up and you're seeing that orange uh, rust lichen just clinging to those rocks, it's, uh, it's rather imposing. Uh, yeah, let's carry on, see if we can find some more good shots. All right, and again, this doesn't look that impressive, especially when I've got trees in the shot. Trees are lovely and everything, but I want to see the rocks. Now, all of this bracken, all these brambles are just covering rocks. You can see some just there there's some outcrop there and then there's more around here ah <sighs> yeah one of many outcrops now you may think it's a little bit weird that i'm banging on about rocks but um these rocks are very very special so the paleontology nerds among you will think charnwood forest stay up that is where charnia masoni is from and you're very correct. So I, I've got a video in, in pre-production about this, but I'll, I'll go through it real quick. Charmwood Forest is the site of the first complex fossil, Precambrian, ever found. Up until the discovery of uh, Charnia Masoni by, uh, first by a lady called Tina, I, can, I forget her last name, I'm so sorry. But first discovered by a lady called Tina, and then, um, and then found by another chap called uh, Robert Mason. Something Mason. Pretty sure it's Robert. And uh, what happened is Tina found this uh, this fossil. Switch hands because that one's that arms getting tired. Oh. So Tina found this fossil. She reported it to a teacher who shrugged, shrugged her off. And then a year or two later, uh, Robert found it. And he reported it to his teachers and uh, eventually they listened and they came out and they, they looked at this rock. Um, and sure enough, there was a fossil. Charnia Masoni. Um, that turned the paleontological community on its head because up until that point, um, no multicellular life had been found uh, prior to the Cambrian, well, during the Cambrian explosion, hence Precambrian rock. 
so uh, it's it's a really important really important place and it's just kind of it's a hidden gem which I kind of want it to stay that way because it's largely unspoilt around here I mean let's just look at this place it's just absolutely gorgeous even in the even in the arse end of winter so uh, yeah big video on that coming out soon I'm just doing the research and pre-production and all of that that should be my first big project that, I, that I'm going to be having coming out uh, otherwise it's just going to be walks like this uh, but I am working on some more kind of uh, documentary style content as well just thought I'd uh, let you know why these rocks are so important and uh, why, we'll, why we'll be seeing many of them uh, throughout this walk because they are just a defining characteristic. Uh, Ordovician and uh, Precambrian rock, they're a defining characteristic of the Charnwood Forest. <laughs> now if it wasn't obvious, a lot of these segments with a little bit of information and stuff where I'm not too sure, I am, uh, I'm doing this all off the dome, I don't really do any um, research prior to a video. Uh, God, I'm so out of breath already. During a video, I just kind of, I'll spout what I know and then if I don't know anything, I'll, I'll try and say, you know, I'm not too sure or whatever. Uh, however, anything in this video, I'll try and, I'll find some papers and link them, link them below. Uh, just in if there's any corrections, I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll put a title card in or something, which is any, any corrections along the way. Uh, like I say, a lot of this is uh, all just off the top of my head. And uh, I, I do try and get my information from good sources, and I do. However, my memory isn't that fantastic, so I may get a date wrong here or there, or, you know, I've just said they're 600, 620 million year old rocks, but uh, they may well be 10, 20 years, give or take, 20 million years, give or take. Just something to keep in mind. Like I say, I'll... Uh, <laughs> I'll put links to papers in the doodly do. Just going to say a quick thank you to this tree stump for being a really good two way camera stand. Peace. Look at that powerful moss. Oof. <sighs> We're not even on the trail yet and uh, already, already I filmed so much stuff. <laughs> There's going to be a lot on the cutting room floor today. Look at this. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I'm acting like I've never been here before. I have been here before many times, but it still blows me away because these rocks are so cool. <sighs> now this, <laughs> it's not one of the most impressive outcrops, but it's one of my favorite because when you come in that gate down there and you look up here, you see these rocks. And uh, I always expect to see a Khajiit here. Obviously his wares. Oh my god, that was terrible. Anyway, very Skyrim. I don't know, I just expect a side quest or something to be here, or a vendor. <laughs> this place is very Skyrim, though. <laughs> right, this is a cool little landmark. So we're currently in Cademan Wood. Uh, very close to the start of the trail now. And what this is here is where a old hunting uh, tower used to be. In fact, there's a, there's a thing there that says, on top of the rocks behind this tree stood a 40 foot high tower. Oh crap, you can't see it, sorry. 
Uh, this tree stood a 40 foot high tower built of stone with an internal staircase to the top. It was used by the Delisle family as a hunting view tower taken down in the 1930s. Completely butchered reading that, but there you go. Uh, but yeah, just more fucking big ass rocks, dude. <laughs> and here is the monster. There is a trig point up there called High Cademan for any trig point enthusiasts. So now I'm going to try and get up there. I have done it once uh, about a week ago. I went the easy way, but I'm considering going the hard way. Nah, fuck it, easy way. Oh, look at that though. <laughs> For real though, it just feels like I'm in Jurassic Park. <laughs> so I'm not kidding when I say I just filmed a whole bit. Well, I thought I filmed a whole bit. Coming up that trail, I am out of breath. That's killed me off. So annoyed. Anyway, we're at High Cademan. And there you go, that's off you. Ah. And for any of you uh, trick point enthusiasts, here we are, S1 635. Hey, hi, Cayman. Earlier, when I said I'm not going to go the hard way up, this is what I mean by the hard way up. Uh, it is treacherous. Doesn't look that steep, but you know that that is me holding the camera straight, and that is how steep it is. Crazy. Yeah, more big ass rocks. I think we've had another big ass rocks now. Um, when we get to uh, Swanee Moat Rocks, I'll probably mention them because there's quite an interesting story that goes along with their history. However, uh, I think that should be you uh, rock nerds satisfied. It's, I'm certainly satisfied every time I come here with the rocks. Right, and this is now where we're entering. Uh, we are actually officially on the uh, Blackbrook Beauty Trail now. Uh, and this is basically the first part of it that we'll be going through. Uh, we'll see just there. It's new plantation, coppice, and acid grassland with some outcrops. I didn't see it right next to it. Is our first marker. Sorry about the car. Yeah, our first marker for the Blackbrook Beauty Trail. So then, we have got Blackbrook Beauty, point number two. Let's go. This one is right next to the uh, Wittick Scout Group. Uh, we're going to be going up there, <coughs> I believe, through some woods. Uh, and then, Mount St. Bernard's Abbey. I don't know. I'll get back to you on that. Anyway, I'm going to go carry on this way. Bye. So, with this place having lots and lots of rock, uh, there's lots of quarries and uh, well, I can't really read that however it says blasting will be carried out between hours of blah 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 if you don't move by the third hooter you'll get blown the fuck up uh, <laughs> yeah lots and lots of quarries around here quite ominous but uh, I'm shit probably banging between those time frames what time is it 9.58 <laughs> so it says 9.45am to 10.15am so I'm going to ski daddle. <laughs> Mushroom. I walk down here and what do my eyes spot? I mean, it's not hard because look at the colour. Lovely Scarlet Elf Cup. Got another one there, but it's a bit effed up. But that one is absolutely gorgeous. Ow. 
look at this you hate to see it keep out sign and then you've got that rock formation and they're keeping you off of that I don't know why I'm an avid supporter of right to roam I think it's ridiculous so we only have access to 8% of the land in the country it's just absolutely mind-boggling yeah it's just a bit further on in that same tract of private property and just all oh, this is that it's just cut off you can't really see much through the trees but there's just absolutely gorgeous rock formations just waiting to be explored by people and it's shut off now i recognize that there are a select handful of people who do who do abuse access to to woodlands and access to land in general you know there's plenty of little shits in my area who there's one section of the woods it's it's mostly pine or coniferous and at the base of almost every tree there's there's burn marks they just keep trying to fucking burn it down and yes there are those people however for every one of those there is a hundred other people who could just go out and enjoy this just it's a woodland it's supposed to be ours you know we are people of the land and we, we need access to the land um, say there are people who abuse the current permissions, but why should the rest of us have to pay the price for that, you know? It's just, uh, it's just a bit mind-boggling. I mean, uh, yeah, you're not allowed in there, sorry. No can do, fam. Anyway, <laughs> back onto happy stuff. I'm done being a bit doom and gloom now just makes me a bit sad but we've got plenty plenty more to look forward to on this so yeah we've got, I've got another I don't know mile mile and a half probably until I hit Mount St Bernard's Abbey so uh, yeah unless I see anything interesting on the way this video is already probably long enough and I'm only like a quarter of the way through so yeah unless there's anything interesting on the way I'll see you when I get to Mount St Bernard's Abbey <laughs> Speaking of interesting, this is literally about 30 seconds after that last clip. That is Mount St. Burns Abbey in the distance. That's where we're going. Morning. Now, I just spoke to an old man, lovely, lovely, very kind gentleman, who said you can get to the Abbey going this way. However, that deviates from my track, so I am going to head off down in the, this yard direction. So we go down here, then I ping a sharp left. And then we kind of go the long way around to the abbey, but that's absolutely fine by me. This is a bit of a, an intense walk. However, after doing Kinder Scout, I, uh, I think uh, I think this is okay. Well, oh, shut up, quarry. I found me a little hill that's muddy. And now it's tradition, well, tradition now. I'm gonna climb up it and see if I fall over, because uh, that'll be funny. What a champ! Oh, will you? Fuck off. Oh, please. That is the quarry. If you couldn't tell, look at that water. Oh, God. I'd love to dive in there. Ah, there you go. Alright, here we go. Still got the quarry behind me. That's our third location marker. So what I'll probably be doing is uh, each time I find one of these location markers, I'll pop it. Uh, I'll pop it as a dot on the map, and I'll just have it pop up on the screen and see whatever. So you can see what uh, where I am, where I'm going, where I've been. Uh, someone called Hazy because uh, this pole needs a medic. However, that is another marker. It's literally couple of minutes on from the last one so I won't bother popping this on the map but yeah another marker I'm assuming it means this way I'm really hoping someone's put this back correctly actually shit because it could go that way and it could go that way uh huh quandary right okay uh, map says that way so that way we shall go and hope I don't get lost it's fine. Anyway, this way. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost fell over. So here's our next location marker. Uh, that's a very kind old chap that I mentioned earlier. 
um, I was running into him again and he said along here you can usually get some really nice views of the Abbey yeah he wasn't wrong that's where we're going first stop well proper stop number one yeah, another trail marker so I've just come down a drive which again that very very kind gentleman said I'd find uh, well the start of the drive and then this is the proper drive the Abbey is just behind these trees ironically enough I've just lost having a really good shot of them and uh, I'll be honest I don't really want to go back because uh, earlier on I said well, I was about a quarter into the walk and that was a fucking lie <laughs> I was about the sixth of the way into the walk then I don't know how far I am now fifth a quarter who knows uh, once I get to the Abbey gonna regroup regain I say regain haven't really lost I'm doing pretty well to be honest I think uh, yeah find out where we're at I'm not even sure if you can get into the mod you know I'm not sure if it's a tourist attraction or if you can get in there you can see what, what's going on I don't know much about it all I know is is it's called Mount St Bernard's Abbey and it's a very pretty building don't know if it's still an abbey it could be a goddamn gift shop for all I know uh, I guess we'll see when we get there now like I just said it's uh where uh, no, probably well not even probably not even a quarter of the way through and uh, I've got a lot of footage already so it wasn't the intention but I think this might be a multi-part video when I was planning the route I thought oh yeah no there's a lot of history there's a lot of stuff to talk about here uh, I don't really <laughs> I don't really factor into how long that would make the video and at this rate I'm probably already about 15 20 minutes uh, mostly thanks to the rocks and the first leg of the journey which hasn't even actually on the trail so there you go uh, there's just so much to talk about around here so uh, yeah I guess this is just part one of part however many we'll see what happens right here we are then folks I know I've lost my hat it's weird isn't it oh, but I'm a bit warm so I uh, thought I'd take it off so we are here at Mount St Bernard's Abbey so I've just uh, I've had a stop just having a quick little sit down a little break with these lovely toilets uh, and this is uh, actually the start point of the trail itself uh, it's easy much easier for me to start at the other end so we're, we're about a third of the way through so uh, a bit further than I thought and yeah this is the uh, this is the Abbey so I'm gonna have my break I think you can go in I think they have a shop so um, this is a one of the well this is the only Trappist house in Britain i.e. they're the only place that brews Trappist beer I don't know what the hell Trappist beer is but uh, it sure sounds delicious so I'm gonna see if I can go in see if there's a little shop or something uh, maybe get a little brew ski uh, to <laughs> may or may not have that on the trail we will see uh, anyway if I can film in there I'll film in there um, but it is a it's still a, a running like Roman Catholic monastery, so I'm going to uh, be respectful. I'm not a religious man myself, but I am going to be respectful. If they don't wish me to film in there, I will not be filming in there. Uh, I guess we'll see how that goes. Bye. Mount St Bernard Abbey is a Roman Catholic Trappist monastery in Charnwood Forest, founded in 1835. The Abbey was the first permanent monastery to be founded in England since the Reformation and is the sole Trappist house in England with the monks brewing Tint Meadow, the only Trappist beer in Britain, which I'll be tasting in the next video. In a nutshell, French monks fleeing persecution in France during the 1830 July Revolution founded the Mount Mallory Abbey in Ireland in 1833. From here, a small colony of monks were sent out to found the monastery of Mount St. Bernard in 1835 on 227 acres of land purchased from Thomas Gisborne MP by Ambrose Lyle March Phillips, a local landowner and Catholic convert who wanted to reintroduce monastic life into the country. Fast forwarding to the modern era, in January 2021 it was reported that the bones of two humans had been discovered when part of the wall was moved during construction work on the chapter house of 1860. The monastery archives held no record of such an internment and police were called in but were satisfied that the remains were not connected with any crime. In the present day, the abbey is still very much in use and is heralded by the monks who live and work there, producing a living off of brewing their Tint Meadow Trappist Ale, carpentry, pottery, book binding, candle making, crafting rosaries and greeting cards with their monastic shops selling their produce. <laughs> 
Well then, I just popped into that shop. Um, the brother there was a very, very lovely man. Uh, you may have seen he let me film in there a little bit. I didn't want to do too much. I did say to him, you know, this, it doesn't really feel right filming in that shop because, I mean, he saw it, it was gorgeous. And there was a reverence in there. And like I say, I'm not a religious man, but I am respectful. I try to be. Um, I'm a bit of a militant atheist, however. Um, I'm in, I'm in their, their land. You know, I'm in their territory. And I don't want to be causing trouble. Uh, anyway, I got, managed to get a bottle of beer. Very happy about that. So, I'm going to carry, along, carry on along the trail now. I'm about a third of the way through. However... I think that's probably enough for one episode. Thank you very, very much if you've gotten this far. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. I'm not sure there's quite as much history in the next one. This is probably going to be a two-part video. It may well be three, but uh, I guess you'll find that out in, uh, in due time, and so will I. So thank you very, very much for joining me, everyone, for today's video. And I love you and leave you. Take care. See you in a bit.